What is up everybody and welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Ban Presto Dragon Ball Z Solid Edge Works Volume 13 and this is Piccolo. We have two versions of Piccolo from Solid Edge Works, version 1 and version 2. We have a exact same image on this side. We have a black and white picture on this side. Solid Edge Works Volume 13 on the top and your warnings, barcodes and all that juicy stuff on the bottom. That pretty much wraps up packaging everybody. We'll be right back with Mr. Piccolo outside of that package. This one comes in three parts. Could have put this together before the review, but I'm gonna do it for you guys just to give you guys a rough idea of how easy it is to put together. So what we have is cape right here, which is pretty cool. It's a cape and it's a stand as well. I took it out off the package and I was like, man, usually this guy is not too sturdy, he's not too stable, and he usually come with some kind of stand. And uh, yeah, it took me a minute, <laughs> not gonna lie, but yeah, his foot just kind of stands in like that. So uh, we do have a stand. Let's get that camera up here so we can get a nice cool image of Piccolo. Give you guys a closer look at this cape slash stand, which is pretty crafty. It looks pretty cool when it's all uh, put together the way it's supposed to. Awesome sculpt on this. Then we get down to Piccolo. Awesome job on his face. I love the shading and the lines and everything under his eyes. Looks fantastic. Really, really did a good job sculpting this one. Uh, the purple on top here looks good as well. Bit of detail in his headdress, his wrap going around his head hair. I uh, really, really like this one. Is it the best one that I've reviewed so far? Probably not my favorite from Solid Edge Works from the Van Presto line, but definitely a solid figure. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of Piccolo. Not saying that this is a bad statue by any means, but it just doesn't pop, you know what I mean, like some of the other ones. I still recommend it for any fan of Dragon Ball or any fan of Piccolo. But yeah, we get some rips and stuff, some rips and tears in his suit. Uh, we got some tears down here as well. His pants are ripped. I think they kind of missed the opportunity to uh, put a little bit more detail. Just having this kind of folded over, I think if they put a little bit of green in there, made the tears a little bit bigger so we could see his skin showing true, would have added a little bit more uh, needed detail into this one just to pop up this very flat uh, purple uh, suit. The color just doesn't pop. I mean, maybe it's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I, I don't know, but because they did a glossy purple on the top here and, and a flat paint on his clothes, on his suit. So, yeah, I would have liked to seen this color purple all the way through. I think this one would have popped a lot more. Really liked the blue. The blue pops, though. Definitely great there. But, yeah, fantastic sculpt overall. Could have did a little bit more with it, but I still think they did a good job. I mean, the feet and all that stuff. We can see all the lawn work into the skin and all that stuff and pretty much everything is painted decently we do have some red paint kind of showing over there paint is globbed up a little bit uh on some parts of the skin there but other than that this one looks fantastic his nails are painted nicely overall a very very nice statue for any fan of dragon ball z or any statue collector all right guys that's pretty much going to wrap up our quick unboxing and statue review for the Van Presto Solid Edge Works Volume 13 Piccolo Version 2. Out of 10, I'm going to give this one a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, the paint on this one is not going to say it's perfect. There is a few minor issues. Nothing really crazy. This one doesn't pop out to me like some of the other statues that I reviewed on the channel. Uh, but don't get me wrong. It's not a bad statue. I'm a big fan of Piccolo. I mean, everybody loves... I can't say everybody loves Piccolo, but I like Piccolo. My son likes Piccolo. How could you not like Piccolo? But as always, my friends, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this one? What do you think of the statue? What do you think of a score of 8 out of 10? And what do you think of this review? Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys statue collectors or figure collectors or both? And who is your favorite Dragon Ball character of all time? If you like this review, hit that like button. And that subscribe button is there as well. If you all want to subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, we do have a channel membership, a Patreon, and we do have a merch store as well. Everything is linked in the description below. As always, my friends, we hope you enjoyed this review, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys and statues.